Welcome to Venture Out in the Florida Keys at mile marker 23. I'm going to give you a short introductory. You know you're here when you see the 170 foot flagpole. Always has the flag flying. Venture Out Resort is a condominium community. Gated. And it allows rentals. We're going to go see some of the amenities and my lot I have for rent. Okay, we're going through the security gate. Hello. Hello. How are you today? Good. You're on candid camera. Yeah. <laughs> There's the tennis courts. I'm going to go over to the marina. That's our post office and recreation center. Post office parking only. I'm going to the post office. There's the marina. I gotta get the tennis courts and bocce ball. Marina. Boat wash down. Fish cleaning station. The two hole marina, two ramps, and there's our store, on site store. Got bocce ball, basketball, and tennis. I know that ain't coming out shooting into the sun. Okay, we'll go look at uh, the pool and the common areas next. Okay. This is our swimming pool. See there's a couple people swimming. Bath house. This is what's termed a common area. Got a beach over here. Place to swim. Nice tiki hut. There's several of them located in the common grounds. There's our weed eater. Backside view of the marina. Upstairs is the adult center or meeting center. And over here, about an eight or ten man spot. Always nice and neat and clean around here. See how many people fit in the spa. Six. Okay, onward. Okay, I'm gonna give you a quick walk around the lot 500 roughly 35 feet wide and 75 feet long. This is our palm trees and landscaping. Golf cart. We only allowed one car over here. You have to pay two bucks a day to park a second vehicle. I'm going to go around the outside first. Barbecue, picnic table, got a water view, view of the canal there, dock box for storage, take you around my tropical plants here, that's our little backyard area. And the coconut palm. The rest of these are arecas. I think I'm going to move the barbecue grill up front. 
Some of these plants do good, some do better than others with no water. We just bought this place December 30th. Did a bunch of cleaning. Here's our living room. Kitchen up there. Have a full size sleeper sofa. Sleep two on the sofa. Got a HD TV with surround sound. DVD, stereo, washer dryer. This is the guest bedroom. Guest bedroom has a view of the canal, as you can see in our back. It's a full size bed, also. Forgot to turn the light on. Thought I had every light in the place turned on. There we go. Got our lights turned on now. It's got its own closet. Swivel rocker, recliner, ceramic floors, easy to sweep. The person who had this before me was quite the cook, I'm told. So we got a pretty big kitchen here. We got a freezer over there, toaster, two coffee makers, gas range, small fridge. Big fridge and a nice dining room table. We'll go down as long as we're going past. I'll open the closets and show you the storage. Here's the bathroom. Shower only in here. Kind of neat how this door opens up here. You can open the door up in case you need better access to the toilet. I guess that's the deal. Nice for cleaning too. Room closet with shelves. Uh, this houses all the linens and extra bed covers and some extra pillows and this I guess is going to be for whatever people want it for probably tourist type things on into the master bedroom this is a queen in here queen bed nice uh, foam mattress couple of dressers, end table with no lamp yet, nice big closet and it's got two fancy air conditioners you need them down here in the summer trust me winter time not too bad like today it's about 70 I think it's January 20th inauguration day Okay, Crystal, any words for the camera? No? Okay, we'll catch you later.